I think the hobby has become pretty familiar with what a fleece roller is and how it works. Water from the overflow of your aquarium drains into the body, passes through a sheet of fleece, and travels through the rest of the sump. As the fleece gets dirty, it raises the water level inside of the fleece roller and triggers a sensor that tells the motor to roll up some dirty fleece, exposing new fleece. It just beats the heck out of cleaning and swapping out filter socks. Red Sea's reef mat works the exact same way, except it has a bunch of new tricks up its sleeve, making it a huge step forward for fleece rollers, offering an impressive list of features that make adding and using a fleece roller so much easier to do, while also being the first app-controlled fleece roller available to reefers, which has some distinct advantages. The reef mat is available in two sizes, the 500 rated for up to 1,580 gallons per hour of flow and aquariums of approximately 130 gallons, as well as the 1,200 rated for up to 2,380 gallons per hour of flow and aquariums of up to around 315 gallons, which covers a very wide range of aquariums. So let's dig into what makes the reef mat stand out from all of the other fleece rollers that reefers currently have access to. I think one of the most obvious advantages is the fact that the reef mat has app control through Red Sea's Reef Beat app, which does offer some great tools that I'm gonna dig into shortly. Red Sea put a tremendous amount of thought into the overall design of the reef mat with ease of use being at the top of the list. It uses an ingenious loading system that allows you to easily swap fleece rolls without having to remove the unit from the sump or turning off the return pump and without having to feed the fleece past a barrage of rollers with barely any clearance under the stand. It's actually that easy. Instead of using optical or mechanical sensors like we've seen on other fleece rollers, Red Sea has opted for a dual input titanium conductivity sensor for added reliability. Plus, Red Sea even thought to include a well-executed media basket where the water exits for chemical media like carbon, GFO, chemipure, purity, or even biological media if that's what you prefer, which is a great use of space below the fleece roller that would otherwise go unused. The reef mat also offers ambidextrous installation with both the sensor and drive unit as well as the hose connection being able to be installed on either side of the body, making it easier to adapt to a wider variety of sump and plumbing configurations. It also has both the option to hang on the edge of sumps with panels up to three quarters of an inch thick with rubber bumpers to provide a soft vibration absorbing padding where the body of the unit meets the sump or the ability to be freestanding with the use of four legs with rubber feet, which works best for sumps with thick panels or braces that won't allow for it to hang. Red Sea also includes corrugated hose with a threaded collar for quickly connecting and disconnecting the reef mat, as well as a union adapter and sealant for plumbing the reef mat to your aquarium's drain line, meaning you likely won't need to purchase any other fittings to get it set up on your system, which is a really nice touch and adds to the overall value of the reef mat. Now, before I dive into the app, I want to talk about the fleece that Red Sea selected for the reef mat because they were quite purposeful in their selection of using a 200 micron fleece, which is less dense or has larger pores than a lot of the fleece mesh that other filter rollers use. Using a 200 micron fleece means you'll still pull out all of the important solid waste like uneaten food, fish poop, bits of algae, and dusty particles from the water, but without it getting clogged up with super fine particles that would cause the fleece to get used up far too quickly. This is super important because it'll keep the efficiency of the fleece high and ongoing running cost of the reef mat low since you won't be blowing through rolls of fleece needlessly over polishing the water. You can actually keep track of how much fleece is being used through the ReefBeat app. Right on the dashboard, you'll be able to see how much of the roll has been used total, how much has been used today, and what the daily average is. The app will also notify you when your roll is about to end so you can make sure you replace it in time. You can even tap through to see an expanded graph of usage for the week as well as for the month, view the mat dispensing log, turn auto advance on or off, tap to manually roll up some fleece and reset the remaining fleece counter when adding a new roll. You can also access advanced settings to dial in the reef mat perfectly for your system by setting the mat advance length, choose how many days you'd like the app to notify you before a roll is about to end, look at the roll history and also change the drive position or model if you ever decide to change things up. The reef mat, like all of the other reef beat app control devices from Red Sea, will give your tank a heartbeat as well. If the reef mat loses connection to the cloud, like during a power outage, you'll get notified to your smart device letting you know, giving you critical time to get back to your aquarium. 
Now, I'm gonna level with you. While all of the specs and features of the Reef Mat are absolutely fantastic, where you really get to see it shine is through practical testing. And Jake Adams of Reef Builders has been running his on a beautiful SPS reef tank, so you can check out his thoughts on using the Reef Mat here and see exactly why he dubbed it Red Sea's crowning jewel of aquarium design and engineering. Check it out.